Magandang mapayapang hapon, Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha Elizalde, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH Radio at sa mga nanonood sa DZRH TV, lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Ang pagiging isang ganap na performing artist sa loob ng tatlong dekada ay hindi gawang biro. Kinakailangan ito ng walang humpay na sipag, determinasyon at pagmamahal sa iyong sining. Ang paglalakbay na ito ay kadalasang puno ng paghamon as artists navigate through diverse roles, rigorous rehearsals, and the ever-evolving demands of the industry. Sa hapong ito, makikilala natin ang isang Filipino performing artist whose long and active career has come to exemplify both excellence and resilience. Kaya't huwag kayong aalis. Sa hapong ito, samahan ninyo kami sa kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan kasama ang musical theater actress na si Miss Sheila Valderrama Martinez. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Tinesting Sinuri Siniyasat Ang resulta? Super effective ang shield sa pagpatay ng bakterya at virus. Shield Antibacterial Soap Bilib ang mga eksperto sa Philippine Nurses Association At si Mami Tiwala ako sa shield Shield Antibacterial Soap Napatunayang mabisa Ang mga nurse, tiwala ACS Hello, Washi! Laundry day na naman Yay! Anong meron? Mansya ng chocolate, oh. butik, oh. may libag pa. Kaya natin yan! With Pride Washing Machine Detergent, may triple stain away formula. Tanggal ang makapit, madikit, at malupit na tumikman siya. Kaya easy-easy ang nabada. Mula noon, hanggang <laughs> ngayon. All you need is pride. All you need is pride. ACS Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama natin sa hapong ito ang multi-talented performing artist na si Sheila Valderrama Martinez. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Sheila. Magandang hapon, Lisa. Thank and you for having me here. Well, welcome back to Art to Art. I'm yes. happy to be here again. Yes, again, the last time you were here, you were promoting uh, Passion. Passion yes. of uh, Opera. Philippine Opera Philippine Company. Opera company. Yes. yes. Well, okay. Balikan muna natin ang yung nakaraan. <laughs> naman. Kasi nga, 30 years ka na sa industry. That's amazing. That's a really long career. And, oh, yeah. and, you know, I'm sure marami kang kwento sa amin. <laughs> Pero, first of all, pa, paano ka unang pumasok sa in- industriya? Ano yung nag-udyok sa yon na pumasok sa performing arts? Okay, so I started non-professional in school. I went to Obi Montessori mm-hmm. and it was a school na super active sa musical theater and mm-hmm. we had a lot of celebrities like and, and um, theater actors like Lea Salonga was mm-hmm. in our school. Mm-hmm. So it was very much encouraged. So mm-hmm. I started when I was about eight, mm-hmm. non-pro. Mm-hmm. And then um, my very first audition, professional audition, was mm-hmm. when I was 14 in Repertory Philippines. Mm-hmm. I did that by accident. Mm-hmm. I joined Repertory workshop by accident when mm-hmm. I was 13 mm-hmm. because my best friend moved to a different school. Oh. So she's like, why don't we spend summer together and join this theater workshop since you're so into it in school? So uh-huh. I'm like, okay, totally, fine. So I, I enrolled. <laughs> my mom had no idea. Uh-huh. And then, so I joined the workshop and we weren't even classmates because I had experience in school. Okay. So I ended up in the advanced class. I see. And uh-huh. then somebody from the office of rep saw me and said, you should audition for for our musical and mm-hmm. it was Cinderella so I was 14 na by then mm-hmm. and I I made it mm-hmm. and then so I I did professional theater for about two years mm-hmm. then I had to go to college mm-hmm. so I went on hiatus for about seven years mm-hmm. and then when I went back there was no stopping me <laughs> okay uh-huh. so why did you go back after seven years I missed it. I guess mm-hmm. the call of the theater was strong, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. They did say if you get bitten by the theater bug, you can't resist. So That's I, it, it was that. Tapos. <laughs> yeah, and that uh-huh. was it, you know? Yeah. And that was it for me. 
I remember watching a musical in Rizal Theater. Mm -hmm. It was Annie. Mm -hmm. And I talked to my seatmate. I don't even remember who. And I just said, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I guess at that age, mm -hmm. I pretty much wanted what I wanted to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So the, after your hiatus, did you like seek professional training? No, or I, I took up business just... course. Uh -huh. Okay. Because. Uh, I grew up in a family of business. <laughs> Sinabihan ka din ba ng mga parents mo na you have to go to a real course. So yes. You will get a real job. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Uh -oh. So my when I did pro in high school, it was more mm -hmm. of like a hobby. Yeah. And then when I had to go to college, you're like, okay, it's time to be serious. So mm -hmm. you have to take up your business course now. And so mm -hmm. I did. And mm -hmm. I, I worked for the family business after graduating for a few years. And then... You know, a bad breakup led me to, you know, oh, maybe I need a break. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's how I actually went back. Mm -hmm. And then when I did go back, uh, there was a time when, like a year of doing theater, my mom was like, hmm, so, you know, you're not getting any younger. Uh -huh. And the breakup is like, it's been a year uh -huh. and maybe you should start being serious. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but I got lucky that I... I was able to do board shows and I got into Disney and mm -hmm. so after that my parents kind of like well my dad I guess realized that it can be sustainable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I worked hard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah siempre. siempre okay so after 30 years how do you keep the passion going how do I keep the passion ah oh, I think it's innate in me mm -hmm. the passion for performing mm -hmm. because it's a Whenever I'm on stage, I just, I, it's inexplicable. I can't describe it. It's just, mm -hmm. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. It's a different thrill. So I think it's that. Mm -hmm. um, I love what I do. So mm -hmm. in spite of all the, the hardships, mm -hmm. you, you stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I can relate to that. Parang yung transformation, ano? Yeah. Pang tungtung mo ng entablado. Iba talaga siya. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, 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 yeah I, I just can't describe it. It's mm -hmm. just when you're there, it's like, I love this. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Who would you consider naman your mentors or role models in the industry? Well, there's Menchu Lao Cheng mm -hmm. She is the first lady of Philippine theater. So as far as leading lady goes, she's really the peg, right? Mm -hmm. So in terms of goals and, and trajectory, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. the one to look up to. Mm -hmm. I've also worked with her. She's my director for my recent concerts. So. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, there's Lea Salonga, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I went to school with her. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching her shows. Mm -hmm. And of course, she's the goal, you know. Um, she's internationally acclaimed. So there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you've performed in over 30 productions, both locally and internationally. Which roles or productions would you consider the most challenging for you? And of course, why? Challenging. The most recent one would probably be passion. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's a role that is so not my type. Mm -hmm. So I had to prove to the director and the producer that I can be Fosca because they mm -hmm. see me as the other girl, the mm -hmm. the fair mm -hmm. and ingenue looking, and mm -hmm. Fosca, of course, is more of the character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. And that's the kind of role that I wanted to do. And mm -hmm. I had, it was difficult because it's not even my vocal type. I had to take voice lessons to lower my, my uh -huh. range. Okay. And, and the character. So, ibang iba talaga. Ibang iba. But you won the Leaf Award for Best Actress in a Musical. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, going into the role, uh, which is very, you sabi mo nga, not your type. Yes. Um, aside from the lowering your vocal range what else did you have to do to prepare for that role well i had to <laughs> i had to we had to plan how i'm going to look because uh -huh. she's not the prettiest you had to become ugly no? yes <laughs> uh -huh. and I had to show them you know <laughs> parang mahirap gawin si yon. Theron in monster she did it if she can do it i uh -huh. can do it okay <laughs> so we had all that planning and of mm -hmm. course um training mm -hmm. all of that um i was very excited when i finally got it because it's some, something that I've always wanted to do that, you know how it is like when you're, you're always cast this way and you want to try other things. Mm -hmm. You don't see you as that. So. Yes, yes, yes. So oh. it was something I, I really wanted. Another mm -hmm. show that I, 
found challenging, but I really wanted to do a Shrek. Mm -hmm. um, I was Princess Fiona because it's a comedic role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've never really done comedy. And mm -hmm. it was like, not only, it was physical comedy and comedy. Mm -hmm. So, and I had the blast doing it. Uh -huh. So, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, may mga panahong nag, na, syempre nagpapatong-patong din ang mga rehearsals at performances of different shows mm -hmm. in different roles. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, I mean, simultaneous lahat ito, how do you approach preparing for each of these diverse roles okay. and the performances that follow? Okay. Uh, usually, when I get into a production, the first thing I will request is for the materials. Mm -hmm. I like to study ahead because I don't want to feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And they always tease me that when I come to rehearsals, I usually already know it. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm a teacher's pet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's just that okay. there's so many elements that you have to absorb through the process of yes. a production, you know. So mm -hmm. first day of rehearsals, of course, you're reading and then you're blocking and mm -hmm. then you're memorizing all of these songs mm -hmm. and your notes. And then you move on to the theater and then you have all these new stuff that you have to learn. Like mm -hmm. You have to adjust to the stage. Then you have your quick changes. Mm -hmm. Everything changes. So I don't want to bombard myself with so much information. Mm -hmm. So as early as possible, I try to learn whatever I can. Mm -hmm. And of course, absorb the character that I want to do. And mm -hmm. my process of learning is I can delve into my character as soon as I already know the material. Mm. Okay. Um, with regards to the schedule, mm -hmm. I, I usually make an Excel file uh -huh. of, <laughs> of my schedule. Okay. <laughs> because sometimes it's too much. <laughs> uh -oh. nah, I, I, just, I just look at it. <laughs> Uh -huh. At one point, I was doing, I think in 2019, I did like seven productions. Mm -hmm. And then three of those were simultaneous. So sometimes I would, I would be rehearsing in the morning for one and then go to the afternoon for another and then the evening for another. Or some days, I don't have an evening, then I have a show. Mm -hmm. And then I have the weekends for shows. And it was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But well, nice seven kind of productions in 2019? Yeah. And after that, the pandemic closed yes. everything so, parang down. I felt like the Lord was telling me, Okay, you're going to go. You're going to for two, three years. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to your international productions. Um, you had experience uh, performing the role of Nala yes. in uh, Disneyland's Festival of the Lion King, yes, yes. among other productions yes, yes. internationally. So how did performing internationally shape your perspective of being a theater professional? I, you know, when I first joined Disney, I was not really overwhelmed. I was more like surprised by, mm -hmm. by the budget. Uh -huh. You know, okay. I grew up in repertory and, mm. <laughs> you and know, I mean, they provided everything okay. there down uh -huh. to makeup and underwear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, wow, I'm really, really spoiled here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would like to say because of the training in the Philippines that we, we are not really provided everything. We learned to be so resourceful. Res resourceful <laughs> and resilient. And resilient, that's true. You know, and <laughs> we've I've I've always felt that we were at par or sometimes even better mm -hmm. in terms of talent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think um, what did I learn? Ah oh, gosh. I got stronger when I was working there because mm -hmm. I, you know, like in the Philippines, we don't have long lasting productions. So yes. we do a lot of different productions and, mm -hmm. and I was going kind of like insane doing just one thing over and over. Over and over. Yes. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found other venues in the, in the company to mm -hmm. do other things. So mm -hmm. at the time I was doing three roles. Mm -hmm. And all the special events. Mm -hmm. I think until now, no one has done that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was working a lot, but mm -hmm. it helped me mentally mm -hmm. that I'm doing more than just one thing mm -hmm. repeatedly over and over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it got it made me stronger actually, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you know, some on a regular day, others would just have two shows, and mm -hmm. my regular day would be four or five shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, I think it's the yeah, yeah. vocal strength and stamina. Yes, and yes. stamina. And Talaga. scheduling my life. Uh, <laughs> naka-Excel file oh. din. Yung isang araw, naka-Excel file. <laughs> okay. 
Alright. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang musical theater actress na si Sheila Valderrama Martinez. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa teatro, iniahandog ng Sandbox Collective bilang season finale ang Tiny Beautiful Things, a play about life in letters mula November 16 hanggang December 8 sa PMCS Black Box Theater, Circuit Makati. Batay sa karanasan ng author na si Cheryl Strade bilang anonymous advice columnist na ginawang dula ni Nia Vardalos. Ito ay nagtatampo kay Isa Calzado bilang ang tagapagbigay payo na si Sugar. Gaganap bilang mga letter writers sina Rodi Vera, Gabby Padilla at Ketchup Eusebio at sina Regina De Vera at Brian C. sa ilang pagtatanghal. Ito ay sa direksyon ni Jenny Hamora. Maaring bumili ng ticket sa Ticket to Me. Sa Sining Biswal, kasalukuyang isinasagawa ng Cultural Center of the Philippines kasama ang Arthur Land, ang kwentong kahoy, isang exhibit ng mga obrang gawa mula sa kahoy, pati na rin ang mga piling piyesa mula sa CCP 21st Century Art Museum Collection. Nagbukas noong October 30, makikita ito hanggang December 2 sa Sevina Park Pavilion sa Pinyan, Laguna. Bukas ito mula lunes hanggang linggo, alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. Sundan ang mga social media pages ng CCP at ng CCP Visual Arts and Museum Division para sa karagdagang detalye. Samantala, inihahandog ng National Museum of the Philippines, Pohol, ang exhibition na Paghandam, the President Carlos P. Garcia Memorabilia Collection na nagbukas noong November 4, ang 128th birth anniversary ni Garcia. Tampok ang mga piling obrang sining, larawan, muebles at iba pang kagabitan mula sa Carlos P. Garcia Heritage House sa Tagbilaran City, Bohol at mula sa bahay ng pamilya sa Quezon City na binigay ng mga apo ni Garcia na sina Maria Carla Josefa G. Campos, Jose Carlos G. Campos at Isabel Campos Bustos. Bago naging Pangulo ng Pilipinas, si Carlos P. Garcia ay isang guro, abogado, guerrilla leader, senador at political economist. Tinesting Sinuri Siniyasan Ang resulta? Super effective ang Shield sa pagpatay ng bakterya at virus. Shield Antibacterial Soap Believe ang mga eksperto sa Philippine Nurses Association At si Mami Iwala ako sa Shield Shield Antibacterial Soap Napatunayang mabisa Ang mga nurse tiwala ACS. Hello, Washi! Laundry day na naman! Yay! Anong meron? Mancha ng chocolate, oh. butik, may libag pa! Kaya natin yan! With Pride Washing Machine Detergent, may triple stain away formula. Tanggal ang makapit, madikit, at madupit na tumit mancha. Kaya easy-easy ang labada. Mula noon, hanggang <laughs> ngayon! All you need is pride! All you need is pride! ACS Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Andito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama pa rin natin ang premyadong musical theater artist na si Sheila Valderrama Martinez. Okay, Sheila. Lots of stage musical productions and then you went also into film and television. So, gumanap ka sa The Kitchen Musical and wildflower. So, what attracted you to try other mediums at paano mo naman naibalanse ang iba't ibang aspeto nito sa career mo? Okay, uh, well, the kitchen musical was just a cameo. So, I, it was something I just wanted to try. Mm -hmm. And then, wildflower was my very first um, teleserie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was always very wary of delving into that world because mm -hmm. It's not. It's not my world, yeah. and I don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. But of course, I wanted to try it. A lot of my my colleagues were doing it, so mm -hmm. it was something more of like an experience. And I didn't really regret it because I had the best time. Mm -hmm. You know, like how people would say, 
when you're in the set, you're there for 24 hours. I never had to wait. Mm -hmm. it, it, parang the production was so efficient. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I felt. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I'd get to the set and I'd still make Chica in the dressing room and they're like, oh, you're gonna have to roll now. Uh -huh. okay. And then I, I have to leave afterwards. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and they were also very supportive of when I have rehearsals. Mm -hmm. When I have to go and they're like, oh, Michelle needs to go. So mm -hmm. parang it was a very pleasant experience for me. Mm -hmm. I also love the role. Mm -hmm. Although I had to speak deep Tagalog at one point. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my first, very, very first scene uh -huh. in front of Tito Pip. Uh -huh. And I was okay. like, oh my God, I was like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I joined it because I wanted the experience. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try it out. And mm -hmm. I had a good experience. Man. So yeah, and this year, after that, uh, I was concentrating on my theater work and events. Mm -hmm. And this year, I got the offer to do uh, Bagman mm -hmm. with um, this production. I think it's a, it's a sequel, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be aired in... I'm not, I'm not sure if I can Tell say it. Din siya. It's a mini-series. A mini-series, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. But I think it will be shown in those... Um, Streaming platforms mm, and internationally. I see. I see. Oh, okay. just can't say. So, uh, <laughs> abangan natin yan. Okay. But, but John Arcelia is my leading man ah, here. I see. And it's another. Oh, we've had him in the show also many times. Yes. So John and, Arcelia. you know, uh, it's another role that it's very different from my past roles because mm -hmm. I'm a criminal here. Mm -hmm. We're like Bonnie and Clyde. Ay, ganda. So, you know, I had fun. <laughs> I had to learn how to do action scenes uh -huh, and uh -huh. drive a truck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm about to film uh, with Sir Direct Eric Mati mm -hmm. for Buy Bust mm -hmm. for Netflix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Well, but just last month, you did a solo concert as part of the CCP's Triple Threats yes. um, concert series Tampok Ang Temang Leading Women of Philippine Musical Theater. Yes. So, kwento mo na, kwentohan mo naman kami. So, ano yung naging highlights ng konsertong ito and of course, the challenges din. When, you know, many years ago when I saw the Triple Threat series, of course, the first one was Mencho mm -hmm. and Tito Odi and Noni and then followed by Sila Tita Sheila. So it was like something that as a musical theater or a, a theater actress would some, somehow wish to do someday. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, it was something I'm like, oh, I, maybe someday I'll be invited. You know, oh, you never oh, know, oh. right? Oh. Explain just muna natin siguro sa audience natin kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng triple threat. Okay, the triple threat meaning per se is you can sing, act, and dance. Yes, at the same sing, time. singing, acting, and dancing. Yes, oh, that's okay. What, yes, that's what it means. <laughs> and the triple threat series of CCP is like a grant that they they give to certain artists. Mm -hmm. So it's quite prestigious and mm -hmm. very, you know, I was so honored when they yes. called me. And it's by like, invitation only. Yes, ito. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So they they grant you um, to do a concert at the CCP. And of course, when I got the phone call, I was like, oh, for reals? <laughs> I reached that age already. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I was so excited. I was so honored and nervous. Mm -hmm. And because um, I was completely clueless about how it goes, it, you're kind of like a line producer. Mm -hmm. So that was a challenge. It was my first time to actually be producing my own concert. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was fun and I had the best team. The first person I called was Menchu mm -hmm. to direct mm -hmm. and uh, Ronnie Fortich to be my MD. Mm -hmm. So they were the first ones I called and when I called Tita Luna to be my writer and they all were on board, I was like, okay, then I'm fine. I'm mm -hmm. totally fine because yeah. I didn't want to stress about the whole production part mm -hmm. because I had a whole concert to sing and yes. perform. So uh -huh. I wanted to make sure that I was good mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so what were the highlights? Uh, I would like to say I had I had the best time and I felt the show was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, when I came into this to the set that day, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is my set. This mm -hmm. is going to be my concert." The, the orchestra sounded amazing. Mm -hmm. The lights of John Battaglia, the projection of GA. Mm -hmm. It was just it was like a dream. Mm -hmm. And the people I wanted to guest in my shows were my leading men, mm -hmm. and of course they were all marvelous and. Mm -hmm. My daughter got guested, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know, coincidentally, 
this year she turns four, she turned 14 it mm. was the age that i auditioned yes yes so wow so parang full circle din full circle yeah. yes oh. Okay, kamusta naman ang schedule mo ngayong Pasko? Uh, <laughs> well, it's Vermont. <laughs> kayod, kayod. Yes. Event season. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And of events course, to please, perform, please, events to throw. Yes, please plug if you can you, uh, uh, um, any of your uh, shows that aabangan natin sa well, November, December. Well, I will December. be doing tree lighting with Ayala uh-huh. this coming November. And I think uh, it's about a series there are three there's three shows mm-hmm. and then the rest are all really events private mm-hmm. events i'm yeah. doing um i'll be performing for the met anniversary mm-hmm. as well this mm-hmm. december mm-hmm. and then i'll be rehearsing for a new show that i can't yet divulge okay but you look forward to that <laughs> <laughs> and i look forward to sharing it soon uh-huh, uh-huh. um but it's going to be in february i see mm-hmm. so there mm-hmm. um okay and the uh, with your busy schedule you mentioned working for the family business before. Do you still have that day job or are you... Yes, um, I still have a participation. I'm in charge of our export department. I see. Which is really not, uh, does not really re- involve me being in the office. Okay. Mm-hmm. Eight mm-hmm. to five. So mm-hmm. it's only when I have clients, mostly emails. Mm-hmm. When I have clients who are visiting from abroad mm-hmm. or who wants to pla- visit the plant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's not as demanding. Mm-hmm. Compared to being in operations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And of course, ba- bago tayo magtapos, Sheila, um, ano ang maipapayo mo sa ating mga aspiring performing artists um, to have the same kind of fruitful and enduring career as yours? I think um, you just have to work hard and maintain good relationships and mm-hmm. work good work ethic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing that will make you last, really. Uh, continue to learn, work mm-hmm. on your craft, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you have to love your job. That's very because true. it's not o- not always easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So true, true. Yeah. Okay, and I heard that you are going to entertain us with a <laughs> song. Hindi natin palalampasin ang pagkakataon nito. Siempre humiling ng isang awit sa ating bisita. Before before you do that, Sheila, can you tell us a little bit about what you will be singing for us this afternoon? I will be singing "Magbalik ka na mahal." Mm-hmm. It's a solo of Sita in the production Ramahari. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a song composed by, written by, uh, Bien Lombera, national artist mm-hmm. for literature and music by. National Artist Ryan Kekmiro. Okay, mga kaibigan, isang mainit na pagsalubong para sa ating hinahanga ang musical theater artist na si Ms. Sheila Valderrama Martinez.
lalantahin ang araw, lulunurin ang unos. Ah, ang marupok kong buhay. Aking hihintayin ang iyong pasabing nagbalik. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagdalaw mo sa amin sa hapong ito, Sheila. And we wish you more prolific years ahead. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha Elizalde, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino. <laughs>